How's it going, guys? Not too bad yourself? Yeah, good, good. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion, Mike is holding the camera. What a great guy, thank you buddy. And you're watching Reptiliatus channel. Friends, we are not in Ontario today. We were graciously flown out to Alberta by TARAS, which is the Alberta Reptile and Amphibian Society, to film the Calgary Reptile Expo, which is just over there. Very excited to be over here to meet the What's community up, here because, going? yeah, you know, when I lived in BC, it was nice to attend the Abbotsford show and see what the BC reptile community was all about. But now we get to go to Calgary, be in Alberta, and see all the vendors and amazing reptile breeders here and see what it's all about. So we're gonna go inside, show you all the incredible animals that are here and available, see some familiar faces, have a great time. So thank you again to Taras for essentially sponsoring the video and bringing us out to Calgary. Let's get over there. What's up guys? How's it going? Good, how good are you? How are you? How are, good, thanks. How are you enjoying the show so far? Good, yeah, not yeah. good for my wallet, but... Good for your heart, good for your hobby. Yeah, good for the soul. What do we got here, if I may ask? What did you pick Glass up? frogs. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. They're so small. Those are great. You don't see those too often. And then we got... I love the Ufagas, the Camillo. Beautiful little strawberry blue jeans. Very cool. Some more glass frogs. Some more of the glass frogs. <laughs> awesome, guys. How's it going? Good. Nice to meet you guys. So how are you enjoying the expo so far? Loving it today, so excited. It is like way bigger than last year. That's awesome to hear. And I see you we got, got some stuff already. Yeah, we got a mixed moss. Very cool, very cool. And then our crested gecko today. Wow, beautiful. That is awesome. Yeah. Anything else you're gonna be after for the I show? Think that's I think this it. is it we're today. Uh, we sure. got it. <laughs> I think, though. yeah. Maybe we're still a water dish, but that's about it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, it was yeah. a pleasure to meet you guys. So Thanks nice so to much. meet you guys. We've yeah. been watching you forever. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy the expo. Thanks, you too. Okay, friends, we're very excited to be here with our friends, Don and Lucas. Hi! Jungle Jewel Exotics. How's it going, guys? Doing very well. Been an awesome very show busy so far. weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Well, do you want to tell us a little bit about your business and what it is you do here and uh, what inspired it and such? Uh, yeah. So, we're Jungle Jewel Exotics. We're working with over 55 species of uh, frogs, toads, and geckos right now. We are a home-based business, not a retail store yet. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, cat's out of the bag. And this actually all started with a trip to Costa Rica for Dawn. Yeah, about uh, 15 years ago, I went to Costa Rica with my mom. And uh, when I came back, I, I wanted a little piece of the jungle at home. So I started to do some research and began to build my first living vivarium. And then I did some more research and found out you can keep these amazing gorgeous little frogs and they're easy to get and easy to keep in Canada so I got my first dart frogs and I had a lot of fun with them and then I got more and then I got more and then yeah it just happened yeah. <laughs> empty tank syndromes a thing you started with Absolutely. one five ten fifteen and next thing you know you have an entire house dedicated to it <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, how's it going, everybody? Hey, we're, we're doing good. Good. How are you? good, good, good. Thanks. How are you enjoying the expo? Uh, loving, loving it. it. Nice. Awesome. Did, did you see anything in particular you like this place? Uh, I like the. Uh, there's a vendor back there with an African fat tail gecko. I've oh. been looking for those. Very cool. And uh, milk snakes. I'm, Very cool. We went to this place last year and I uh, loved it so much. I wanted to come here again. Awesome. Well, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the show. And thank you for very much. Hi. It was lovely meeting you. Yeah. Lovely meet you guys too. Take care. Nice meeting you. Have a great day. Thanks you too. Guys, the expo's been busy, it's amazing. We're here with Tyrone, Canadian mouse man, and there's an animal here that really caught my eye. Very interesting, unusual critter. Take a look at this Pac-Man frog. This saddleback pink chicken is the name. Never seen anything like it in my life. Very unusual. Yeah, we brought these guys up from the US. They're kind of a new mutation in the hobby. The mutant is just kind of starting to take off, and we really don't know what it does yet. It yeah. does some crazy things. That is so interesting. It's almost like, I don't even know if pied would be the word to describe it. Well, that's it, how I call it. This one here started off all pink, and now it's starting to tomer turn almost like the, the saddleback, getting some, some wow. dark coloration, some greens and purples. So, yeah. really interesting animals. Yeah. It's named appropriately, I will say. Definitely. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Thanks for showing No us. worries. Thank you, guys. Hello. Hi. You're a horrible person. Working hard, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. Don't shame us. Hi, I'm Amanda from Tarantula Canada. Tarantula seller, tarantula importer, tarantula breeder. We fully support captive breeding of tarantulas. There are hundreds of species available, so let's keep wild tarantulas in the wild and captive tarantulas safe in captivity. In addition to our own breeding, we do a lot of imports. Mexican program for tarantula breeding. Tarantulas are still being poached in the wild there, so as part of their initiative to protect their native wildlife, the Mexican government has given permission to different breeders who breed, they supply the pet trade but also re-release into the wild to help replenish areas that have been uh, you know decimated by poaching unfortunately but it's a really good program and we're really proud to support it thanks awesome have a great show all right thank you <laughs> Well, everybody, for today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all what the coolest animal you saw so far in this video is. Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give a comment a heart. We can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks. What's hey. your favorite reptile? Bearded dragons. <laughs> bearded dragons? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. What's something about them you love? Well, I breed bearded dragons. Oh, and, okay, uh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, I, I just find they're extremely habitable, they're chill, and yep. they're fun to work with as well. I love all the morphs that are coming out as well. Hey, Pitty Mikey, how's it going, buddy? What you eating there? You bet. Squawky, Greek, salad. Let's get uh, some fuel. That's right, and then we'll go back in there and keep filming. Hey guys, how's it going? Great, how are you? Good, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> just enjoying the expo. I can see Absolutely. you guys are very happy. What do you have here? I have a little baby Lacerda, jeweled oh Lacerda. Oh my goodness. How's it going, guys? Good. 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 What'd you get? You got bugs? Yeah, yeah. we got some silkworms. Nice. Oh, we open yeah. It open it. <laughs> got the silks. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Vitamin B12, <laughs> yeah. iron, and then some peptides. Nice. Sorry, I actually ended the recording. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Zane, how are you? I'm great. Yourself? Good, thanks. Thanks for saying hi. Pleasure to meet you. So we're at the Calgary Expo. This is the first time for me. What are you after? Are you looking for anything today in particular or just checking out the show? Yeah, I'm mostly oh, looking um, for supplies for my gargoyle geckos. Awesome. Uh, two at home. Um, maybe see if there's a mosaic gargoyle gecko. I've been looking for some of those. Nice. Uh, mostly it's just been stripes for the last few years, so we'll see. Very cool.
Now, one of the things I noticed here at the booth right away that I have never seen in Canada before are these guys. Lucas, tell me what we're working with here. I'm so excited you got these in. These little fellows right here are incredibly rare. These are the Antilopus Barbatini. Very cool. What makes them incredibly rare is there's not too many of them uh, in captive populations already. Yep. What's even more incredibly rare is that these are the very first captive bred and captive raised Barbatinis in the world. Right. Our right. friend Nick in the US has cracked the code and is now successfully bred to date six different spawns and very successfully raising them. These little fellows here are the first ones in captivity. And now they're finally trickling into Canada in the best care. And thankfully yes. you guys have them. These ones here are strictly for show. Yep. We wanted to show everybody these unique little toads. Yep. And, and so that they can enjoy it as well, more than just for us. So I imagine you have a group that you've put aside for yourselves to start breeding and... Yes, we are working on a full population yeah. for breeding. I cannot wait to see that come to fruition and... Thank awesome. you so much. Thanks. I'm Dr. Kelsey Chapman. I work at Calgary Avian and Exotic Pet Clinic. We do everything you can keep in your house that isn't a dog or a cat. Everyone has their own favorite type of animal that they work on. Reptiles are definitely going to be my favorite. I have several at home. I have four currently and I just find the medicine in them is new and I like that. I like being on the forefront of new knowledge. I like not quite knowing what's next. I like having direction and guidance from the best in the business because when it's so small you talk to everyone. I think that's the coolest part about mm -hmm. reptile medicine anyways. All the new stuff. So I have been coming to these shows for I think five or six years now, ever since I started practicing at Calgary Avian. And I love seeing all the different animals, but my job here mostly is to make sure everything looks healthy enough to be sellable. I don't do full physical exams on all of the animals, of course, so I can't guarantee their health. But I make sure that there's no welfare concerns, that everyone is bright-eyed and bushy-scaled and no movement concerns. And then I have my booth here, so I answer lots of questions from people coming around. I can answer a lot of them, some I can't, because there's obviously questions that just need to have an exam, so I get them to book appointments. Thank what you, would you say is the most common question that you get? Uh, at this table? Yeah. The most common question is, here's a picture of my animal, it's not eating. Help, help me. <laughs> It's, it's, hard. Laugh, but <laughs> it's uh, hard because it's the most common thing that happens. Of course. Right? We also need more reptile research, so yes. fun that. That would be great. Yes. Thank you so much no for your worries. time. I really appreciate it. Have a great show. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. How are you doing? Good, good. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How are you liking the show? I see you got it's something awesome. there. Awesome. Yeah, we got some a vulgar tangerine isopods. Beautiful, beautiful. You into the isopods then? Oh or? yeah, no, I've got hundreds of these guys. Oh, awesome. Do you have a favorite culture back home? Or? I think the uh, Destroys are probably my favorite they're just because they're so nice. colorful and they get so big. Yeah, I really like them as well. And yeah. you always can end up with some of the more yellowy ones. Oh or the yeah, no, I'm trying color. to isolate some out to be high yellow if I can. That's so awesome. That's Very a fun cool. project. Very cool. Are you planning on picking anything else up at the show? Or just kind uh, of I think that this might have maxed out my budget already well I admire your discipline sometimes people <laughs> wouldn't uh, pay attention to the budget and just well thanks for saying hi it was a pleasure to meet you oh yeah you too awesome. thanks. enjoy the show <laughs> someday I shall have you guys I come all the way out to Calgary I'm not the only one from Ontario here besides Mike and I. Nelson is here, everyone. Tails and scales. We decided to, you know, we're like, we don't want to go to the Ontario Expo this time. Toronto, they've seen enough of us. We're going to go to Calgary, you know? Look at him. Trader as well. Okay guys, it has been, I want to say, yeah, like almost three years <laughs> since I have seen my dear friend Desiree here. Where do we start? You know, we, we knew each other back in, in Ontario at yeah. school and then I moved out west to BC yeah. and we got to see each other there, which is nice at the Abbotsford shows. And then I moved back to Ontario again. 
And now we're reunited in yes. Calgary. What are the odds of that? <laughs> of all places. I know. So I am excited to be here to see you guys doing your thing. It's been such a great busy show. Tell us a little bit about your business here. Yeah, the so Bug we, Guys. Yes. So I'm Desiree. We're the Bug Guys. Stuart Brown started the business back in 2012 straight out of high school doing educational presentations. I myself was born here in Calgary, so it's nice to come back to the hometown and do the expos. Stuart and I have a storefront now in Lake Country, so we have a, a full-blown pet store taking care of dogs, cats, livestock, and of course our specialty birds, reptiles, amphibians, and aquatics. Primarily at the expos, we showcase some of our captive bred species, including our own projects of crested geckos and knolls, all kinds of different lovely small pets especially focusing on bioactive terrariums, really enriching the animals, giving them full-blown enrichment stimulation, mm -hmm. uh, target training, just awesome. really trying to advance the hobby and have everyone do the best they can with their animal and enjoy them to the fullest. Well, that's, uh, that's the most we can ask for out of anyone. That's amazing, yeah. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Really appreciate it. Okay, everybody, I'm here with Brandon, the president of Taraz, and he's gonna give us a little bit of an explanation of what Taraz does and what they're all about. So thank you for your time, Brandon. Thanks for coming to the show. It's great meeting you. Uh, thank you so much for having us too. I really appreciate the invitation and it's been a wonderful weekend. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. There's a lot of cool stuff here today. A lot of vendors with great stuff. So Terra's puts on the Calgary Reptile Expo. We're one of the very few societies in Canada that puts on our own expos which is fantastic. We make quite a bit of money off the expos, which helps fund a lot of different programs that we're doing. So we help aid in conservation. So we've been donating to local conservation groups like the Alberta Amphibian and Reptile Conservancy. So we donate to them, $5 from our membership goes to them as well on top of the donations that we make. So that helps keep land conservation within the province because without land, these animals don't have homes. Mm -hmm. So there's other species at risk within the province that we're also working with on other projects with AJM Environmental. So that's gonna be a three year long-term project with studying prairie rattlesnake and other species that are found in that den. Wow. So there's been 1,200 rattlesnakes tagged in that den alone, which is potentially the largest rattlesnake den in North America. So that's super cool to be part of. And so as far as uh, the purpose of culture goes, how is uh, Tara supporting or with the, the expos, I'm sure, and education and outreach and things so like that? So we offer care sheets at our shows that lots nice. of people take. Uh, we're also working on an emergency response plan. So right now we have an emergency response sticker. So you can put that on your door. Uh, just allows emergency services know that you have animals in your home. Right. It encompasses more animals than the average sticker, so we do reptiles, amphibians, fish, birds, small Very mammals. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Thank Richard. you for coming, and I uh, hope you have a great show. Thank you. Stan actually literally wrote the book on tarantulas. Their care around the world is due to your research and everything you've done. And you coming up to these expos, putting in all your time, yourself and Marguerite, we recognize that and we thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Friends, I'm honored this morning to be with Stan Schultz. Truly, it's a privilege because your book here was the first piece of literature that I purchased for myself to learn about keeping tarantulas as a child. Unbeknownst to my parents, <laughs> I went to my local bookstore and ordered it and eagerly waited two weeks for it to arrive. To be able to sit here with you today and just talk about these incredible animals in your work is truly a privilege and honor, so thank you. You thank flatter you so me too much. much. <laughs> oh, really, truly, thank you. You do realize that reading that whole book in one shot causes brain damage. <laughs> that explains a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well guys, V 
the Calgary Expo is coming to an end. It's been a very, very busy and exciting two days here. Mike and I have been having an amazing time seeing familiar faces, meeting new faces, meeting many of you as well. It's been an honor. I'm very humbled by how many people recognize me and came by to say hi, because sometimes I get it. You're like, oh, should I disturb him? But it was really nice to chat with so many of you. Not just that, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank Taras for bringing us up here for today's expo. Well, not just today's, the weekend expo. It's been such a privilege getting to connect with the community here out west has been awesome. We had a great dinner last night as well, and it's just been great. You know, community, community, community is such an important element in my channel, how we have to come together, grow the hobby, represent it properly, accurately, and respectfully. So having this opportunity is something I'm truly gonna cherish, and I thank you again for inviting me out to the show. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of the links down below to Taras and other organizations, and yeah, hope you had a great time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Expo videos, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.